Hey everyone, so I thought I would review another comedy CD today and I've actually just reviewed the Caroline Ray CD so this one is actually getting uploaded in quite little order because now I'm reviewing Kostecki Economopolis's who you guys know I adore completely um, they are, they do have a child together, I thought it was very cute and I just want to point out first of all that this was bought second hand on Amazon because it is exceedingly hard to get hold of so it might actually belong to somebody called Josh so I will try and get another copy which is, well, it'd be nice if it was signed, but at least undedicated. Um, also, I just want to point out there, Kostaki had like next to no hair. I found that insane because I've only ever known Kostaki with, you know, quite a bit of hair. I mean, it's not like, it's not like long, but it's, you know, he's got quite a lot of it. So when I saw that first of all, I literally nearly died just because I just didn't recognise him. It was so insane. Um, not in a bad way, it was just a shock. Um... So the CD itself is bright purple, and as I said with my Caroline review, the good thing about having the audio only is that you're not tempted to look at the screen every two minutes. So you, you know you can just put it on and you can just listen to it and you can just go about and you know do your usual stuff. And, you know if you're going on a walk or something, you can listen to it. And the only thing I want to say is, especially with this one, I laughed out loud literally quite a lot. You know I try not to but it's in my head and I hear it and I will literally laugh out loud and I have to sort of look around to see if anybody's looking at me in the street. Now this one is split into 29 different sections so I'll just run you through the names and stop at once which I really like the most but um, that's in there. Okay so you have grapes, okay the first one there, it, it talks about how many grapes you can sample in a store before it's called stealing rather than sampling. Very basic humour but it works so well I thought that was really good. Um, Hyundai dealership, I've heard that one quite a lot, it's the not interested joke which is great. Non-alcoholic beer, where he talks about tequila and things, is quite quite amusing. Drink who knows, kids games, Greyhound bus, I've got to admit the Greyhound bus one I didn't really understand to start off with because I don't know what the Greyhound bus is, it's not something that we have here, um, if anybody can clear that up let me know. But the actual joke itself involving the people on the bus I understood because he kind of explained it without explaining what the Greyhound bus was. That might not make sense, but it, it, it was funny regardless, so you don't actually have to know what it is. Um, help each other more, in help each other, help each other. Um, I was actually personally offended, but never mind. More solutions, violent culture, marshmallows, I really like that one a lot. Um, Siamese twins, which I thought was a bit, a bit far-fetched. Midgets, mermaid, religious stuff, Los Angeles, laser, laser vaginal re rejuvenation, I can't say that. Cold. Funny sayings. The funny sayings one is really super cute and kind of, kind of really sort of a giggly laugh one. I really like that one. Um, gas station, men's room, Taco Bell, bookstore, race walk, work, walk, walk. <laughs> um, recent events, extra virgin olive oil. There's there's a joke in that one about Popeye, which it took me literally, it took me until the second time I listened to the CD to actually get that. But I got it straight away the second time, and I was like, oh, "That's what he means." It's kind of, kind of funny, and um, he does a lot with his voice as well. It's not like monotonous, you know, because no comedian speaks monotonous if they're any good. Um, and that really helps as well, because since you can't see him and you can't see his expressions, it really helps. Yeah. <laughs> Number twenty-five is stoned crabs, drugs, and whores. The one about the stoned crab is one of the funniest things I have ever heard in my life. That is the one which made me laugh out loud in the street. And if anybody asked me why, I would have just said, hey, this guy's talking about stoned crabs, that's all that really matters in life. It was very, very funny and very entertaining. I like that a lot. Then we have um, Dewey Dewey, homophobic culture, language, and girlfriend. They are all really, really funny, but my favourite one out of there would be extra virgin olive oil, stoned crabs, more solutions. Um, okay, I'll just pick the... Oh, and cold the cold one there he talks about witches in that one but I do actually get personally offended at least three points in this but it's so funny that I couldn't care less I couldn't care that I'm personally offended because it's just too funny nobody cares plus the title is called come on it's jokes which indicates that no matter what he says it's jokes doesn't matter not being serious so it is really nice and sweet he also does for those of you who've seen Kostaki live or have watched live clips or anything he has this little slight pause in between jokes where he'll laugh to himself and it's a really cute little laugh it's not a big massive laugh it's just a little one and he does that a few times in this so it's really sweet and really nice and I really do like it and um, this is copyrighted um, as of 2000 if you can see that down there 
So I couldn't tell you the exact date that this was out, so it was either 2000, 2001, give or take roughly. So it's not exactly brand new, but it is still exceptionally hilarious. The jokes will not go out of date, ever. So it is definitely worth getting a hold of. It will cost you as much as £15 on Amazon.co.uk. I did try to get it on eBay, but I couldn't find it, but that will depend on, you know, when you look. Um, maybe a bit less on Amazon.com, I'm not 100% sure. But I do think that it is absolutely fantastic, definitely worth getting, very funny. Better still, spend 30 quid and get them both because you will not regret it. If you play one after the other, or what I like to do, is I like to put them both on. So I put them in a playlist, Just I just titled it Caroline and Kostaki because that's what I do. And I put it on shuffle, so I have this sort of mingle between each other. So I have his joke, her joke, his joke, his joke, her joke, her joke, his joke, her. You know what I mean? So it's just sort of... The two of them are, it's its really nice if you just sort of mix the two of them together and it's really sweet. So definitely go and get them, but of course I am just focusing on this one just now. So it's Kostecki Economopoulos, come on, it's jokes. Really, 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 really lovely CD. Despite the price, I can't talk today. Um, but it's definitely worth getting a hold of if you can. Whether you already know who Kostecki is or if you're just looking for a good comedy CD, definitely it. But please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts. And that's it for just now, so I will see you next time. Bye!